While many visitors will be coming to Qatar for the thrills on the pitch, there's also plenty to be found in the dunes. Don't fight against the car, like just follow the gravity. The first World Cup in the Middle East is giving football fans a chance to get a desert adventure under their belt. At a different time of day, it really feels different here, like sunrise, it would be a very magical early morning and different thing in the days when you can see the shadows of the dunes on one side and one side is bright and later on even the sunset, it's magical here. We are near Qatar's southern border, in Khor al Adaid, or as locals know it, the Inland Sea. It's just an hour or so from the capital, but feels like another world. Mohammed Wazir has been leading dune bashing tours for 15 years. He knows this area like the back of his hand. It's adventurous and plus it's freedom. I mean, like you can drive anywhere you want. <laughs> you don't need to be stopping on traffic lights. <laughs> There are kilometers of dunes surrounding a lagoon system unlike anywhere else on the planet. Often when people think of the desert, they think only of sand, but one of the many special things about this region is how these spectacular dunes spill all the way down into the sea, making this an area not just of extreme beauty, but also extreme sport. And extreme transport. In peak season, these dunes are heaving with hundreds of cars as Qataris make the most of their desert playground, even setting up elaborate camps. Visitors have a chance to experience the environment at this hotel in the middle of the wilderness, which is opened just in time for the World Cup. We have canvas walls in the inside. We strongly believe that this is something what the traveller is looking for in the future. It's about experience, it's about being close to nature. Um, it's, it's something different than you usually experience when you check in into a five-star hotel. A place of relaxation on the edge of nature's roller coaster. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera, The Inland Sea, Qatar.